So this, you could get a question that takes your polynomials unit and says, can you graph the square root of x minus 1 times x squared, or x plus 1, sorry, x plus 1 times x squared. And so you would have to graph the inside first. Well, the inside first has an x-intercept at negative 1. And that graph would go straight through. It has an x-intercept at 0 with a multiplicity of 2. So it should bounce. And this is the graph that's given. So first of all, if it was given this way, you would have to graph the inside first and then square root. Okay? So let's say we drew the graph, we get the red graph drawn there. Then when we go to square root it, we mark where it's 0. We also mark where the y value is 1. And then we follow the ideas of, yeah, and there's nothing, like, I don't even have 4 on the graph. I can't even add any other nice points here. So we really have to use the idea. If your y values are between 0 and 1, your graph is going to be slightly above. So in this section, it's going to be slightly above. In this section, it's going to be slightly above. And this is our graph. And by slightly above, slightly above can never go over 1. Because that's not slightly above. That's way above. So the idea stays the same, but depending on the graph you get, the graph can look really different. So you might feel like, ooh, right? Do you ever get an answer where you go, that looks weird, I think I, should, I did something wrong, right? Especially on tests, right? You're writing a test and all of a sudden your answer is like, 331 over 17.5. Like, I did something wrong. The teacher, wouldn't, the teacher wouldn't make a fraction like this. I must have done something wrong. In fact, I think we do a bad, like in real life, almost all answers you get look funny. When you're solving something in real life, you get a, oh, that's a weird looking one. Decibels and fractions that don't work. So maybe we should do a better job on tests of giving you weird looking answers more often. Don't worry. You get to you get once you get to the higher level math, then there there's no problem having weird answers come up on tests. Okay. So questions for this one? Ten and twelve. 